Hey everyone, welcome back. It is Icon. Thank you so much for checking out another episode of Esports Analysis. Today, I am going to give you my predictions for who I think is going to win Championship Sunday. So we'll take a real quick peek back at what happened on Saturday. Then we'll go ahead, we'll try to explain everything up through Championship Sunday. We'll predict my winner and we'll move on from there. So without further ado, I will say that I think the vast majority of people out there probably didn't quite get everything right on Saturday, right? A lot of these matches were, some of them were probably what you expected, but there were many things that just confused people out there or things that happened that you didn't quite see coming. So the very first matchup of the day was Dallas versus New York over here. And I just thought coming off the last event win and how New York has been playing as of late, I thought that this was the match that they would end up taking. I was pretty confident in a pick here for New York. We hadn't quite seen Dallas yet with the meta change. And when we did see them, they weren't really playing all that great in scrims against teams like Chicago. But that's not what happened. So if we go through and we look at the matches, it started off with a gun runner hard point. Dallas ended up winning that 250 to 219. I will say that these were pretty close, right? It's not like all of these things were blowouts. But after that, we went to Arklov search and Dallas is just notorious for being a good search team on Arklov so they won that 6-4 and then the domination towards the end really could have went anywhere the dom on Gunrunner but Dallas won that by 25 and it was a quick 3-0 and I was shocked I really didn't expect this to be the result at all even if Dallas won which I could see seeing right it, it wouldn't have surprised me at all when I made that prediction yesterday of Dallas won, I just didn't expect it to be like this. So good for Dallas, which means we can go ahead and we can move New York out of that position. So Dallas was the first team through. Uh, then we can reset Dallas and we can put New York into the loser's bracket final over here for Group A. After that, as we move back here, the next matchup was Florida versus London. And again, this is probably one that not a lot of people saw coming. I know I, for one, wouldn't have guessed this, even though in my last power rankings, and I took a ton of flag for this, I moved Florida out of number one. Sorry, I'm a little worked up over it. But when I watched Florida play, first of all, they barely won yesterday. Today, they didn't end up winning against London. But even with that being said, I just didn't have a good feeling from them based on what I have saw over the last week and a half or so out of scrims. But getting back into this matchup, so it started off with a 2-0 lead for Florida. Most people just figured this is how it's going to go. The Azir Cave hardpoint was super dominant, so it was 250 to 129. After that, we got into the Piccadilly search, but they also won 6-3, and then this is where things got a little bit interesting, right? So when it came to the Petrograd Dom, London was able to squeak that out, one out with a 163-157 victory. Uh, then they followed that up with the hard point victory, 250 to 207. And then it came down to Arklov, which I was surprised with this because Florida is a pretty good search team on Arklov. We've seen them have success in the past. We've broken it down multiple times on my channel and on my Twitch. So London with the reverse sweep here, which is something that I also didn't have happening. So I can take Florida out of here, which would have put them into the loser's bracket final. We'll move London on. So we'll reset this matchup. We'll put London back up here. So for London and Dallas, I expected those teams to make it to the semifinals. I just didn't think that they would have won their first matchup. So um, great job out of those two teams. It's nice to see London have some success against big time teams because they've been right there, right? They've been having really good tournaments over the last few events. So for me, it's really nice to see them make it to another semifinal. I'm just interested to see if they can pull it out this time. After this matchup, we went back across, and this is one that I correctly predicted. I just didn't expect LAG to have it in this matchup. Plus, Paris has looked pretty good as of late. I know that's weird to say after they went months and months without winning a matchup, but as we go through LAG came out of the gate. They won the hard point on Ramaza 250 to 226 and then got absolutely smoked on the Arklov peak. They lost 6-0 in that search and destroy. When it came to the Petro Dom, they lost that by quite a bit. You can see right here, 197 to 124. And then the hard point was super, super close. This one could have went either way. This was a really exciting matchup to watch, but Paris ended up winning 250 to 243. So as we look at our bracket here, I did have Paris winning this one. So 
So that one was one that some people probably might have taken LAG. But um, I don't know. I'm giving myself credit where I can give myself credit because it wasn't the greatest of predictions for Saturday. In fact, I'm usually pretty good with these predictions. I think this might have been the worst day overall that I've had. Moving on from there, we had OGLA versus Seattle. By the way, I have a ton to say on what Octane has been putting out over the last couple days. I'm going to save it till like Monday. I'm going to let everything cool off, let everything calm down. Then I think I'm going to post a reaction video to all that's going on with that come Monday. But in this one, the very first hard point, OGLA won 250 to 223. After that, they ran away with the search, won it 6-1 to one on Petro. Uh, then the Domination, which Seattle has been playing pretty well at Domination. It's the map that they won yesterday before they kind of got screwed out of that hard point on Petro. Um, but they won this by about 30. Uh, then when it comes down to hard point, they're just not a great hard point team as of yet. So OGLA, this was a really dominant victory here, 250 to 140. And it's interesting to be seeing what's happening with the young guns, right? So I'm interested to see if OGLA can keep that up, if it's just lightning in a bottle, kind of what's going on there. So as we come over here to the loser's bracket, I did have this correctly. So I had Seattle versus OGLA and I had OGLA winning this. So I didn't have the winners matchups right, but I did have the loser semi matchups right for what it's worth. After this, the last thing we had to do was just get us set for the semi-final. So the next matchup here was Paris versus New York. And this was absolutely unreal. I cannot believe that New York went from winning their home event to getting knocked out by Paris. It's just, it absolutely mind boggles me. Um, I moved them up pretty high in my power rankings, and I just thought that they were one of those next teams to take that next step, and they just didn't show up. So as we go through the maps, even though it was close, right, the Ramaza hard point, they had been playing really well on. They lost that 250 to 242. Again, a kill here, a kill there, and it ends up going their way, but they just didn't clutch up in the ways that they did against Chicago in their last event. The, the Petro search... 6-2 the way of Paris, and then the Domination, again, super shocked by the Gunrunner Dom. They ended up losing by 33 there, 170 to 137, and Paris went through. So after playing pretty poorly, right, for the last three months, Paris is in a championship Sunday. It's I, I can't believe it. So the loser from Group B or the winner of the losers bracket from Group B will play the winner that made it out from Group A. So that's going to be London. So we're going to go ahead. We're going to put Paris down through here. Uh, then the last matchup of the day was Florida versus Optic. Another super exciting matchup here, but Florida did end up winning 3-1. I think OGLA improved a lot. They're just not quite there yet, right? They're not on the same level as Florida. So as we go through this, OGLA came out. They won that hard point again. They've been playing pretty well in hard point. And remember, if you've followed my channel where I've talked about OGLA quite a bit over the last four days, or I said that hard point is one of those ones where everybody plays hard point every day. So it's not that hard to substitute people in for hard point. It gets a lot harder when you're trying to talk about especially strats for search and destroy, but also for domination, when to flank, when to overextend, when to push the C flag if you have AB for a new neutral, stuff like that. So those are the hardest things to work through. But getting back into the results here, Florida won the surge 6-3. Then the domination was super close. OGLA only lost that by three. And then I think the win was probably out of their sails because when it went to map four, they lost the Azir hard point 250 to 159. And Florida ended up moving on. So of the four teams that I have in the finals, um, only one of them was different. I really did expect New York to be that fourth team, but Paris came through. So good for Paris. I'm super happy for them. After what has been a pretty rough stretch, they've been able to kind of turn it around a little bit and have a successful tournament that we haven't quite seen out of the last few months. So when it comes to predictions right here, we have London versus Paris. We have Dallas versus Florida. So when it comes to this, I think that one of them is probably somewhat easy to pick. I think that one is super difficult, but I'm excited for it because I want to see who is going to end up winning this matchup between Dallas and Florida. We'll get to that one in a second, but just looking at the London versus Perry series, 
This one, immediately, I think, well, you have to pick London here, right? With the way that London's been playing overall, they've beaten Surge, and I know that one could have went other way, or either way with Slacked being knocked out of that first matchup there. But with them getting a victory over Florida, and over the last couple events, they've been looking pretty good. So at first glance, I want to go Florida, but Paris is kind of that team that's playing well as of right now, right? A win over over LAG, which is, it is what it is, but a win over an event champion like New York, that's another super impressive victory. And I will say that, I, again, I'm just happy for these two teams because if you go back to like the beginning of the year, London and Paris were in like that five and six range. I, I wasn't quite sure, you know, who to put at five, who to put at six, but they were definitely in the top half of teams, especially after Paris starting launch weekend as everybody's 12th team because we had no idea what they would show up and do. So it's good to see these two teams performing again. I think it's good for the league to have those EU teams being a little bit more involved. But I think this is the event where Wuskin just keeps playing like he has been playing all year, that difference maker. And I think London is going to end up making it to our championship Sunday final here. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put London through, which brings us to Dallas versus Florida. So... Again, if you're looking at this just as the optics of who has played better this weekend, you would probably immediately put Dallas through, right? They had a victory over Paris, which is what it is, but then they're able to beat New York. And even though they beat New York, it might not look as impressive as it might have last week because New York just got smoked by Paris. Not smoked, I shouldn't say that, but they definitely lost to Paris. So those Dallas victories... They're maybe not that impressive, right? They beat a Paris team that hasn't been great. Uh, then they beat a, a, a New York team that, albeit coming off a championship, ended up losing to Paris and not making the final. So that's one way to look at it. And then if you look above, Florida had a victory over OGLA. And then they lost to London to start the day. Again, those could have went either way. And then they ended up beating OGLA to make it into the final. So when it comes to this... Will Dallas be able to get their third ring is really what I'm looking at here. Or will Florida step up on championship Sunday? They've kind of been that clutch team. For me personally, I just have a good feeling the way that this meta matches up for Dallas. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put Dallas through, which would set up a Dallas versus London matchup. Again, based off of what I've seen from Florida over the past week and a half or so in scrims and with the matchups that they've already had this weekend, I just don't have a ton of confidence in them, even though it sounds weird because they're back-to-back -back event winners and that's I don't know. It's just weird to say that you don't have a ton of confidence, but I'm just not there yet. So if they go on and win this, I won't be shocked, but I just think Dallas is playing better right now. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to put them through, which would give us a finals matchup of London versus Dallas. And this one's tough. Um, Again, just by looking at it straight on, you would have to think that Dallas would probably be the pick here because London has been to a final before and they haven't quite been able to get over that hump, right? They ended up, I think the last time they were there is the event that Chicago won. So they've been there, but they just haven't been able to get that final victory. Is this the time where they do actually show up and get their victory or Dallas, we've already seen both on land and online how they perform when it all comes down to this. So for me personally, as good of a story, and I don't want to say I'm rooting because I, for me it doesn't matter which team wins, but I would like to see London be successful. So as much as I would like to see London win, I think it would be great for their city. I think it would be great for the EU scene. And again, it would be great for their players. I just don't know if I see it happening. I think the young guns are starting to come into their own. Illy has been playing pretty well. Of course, you know what you're going to get out of Clayster, just that steady AR that always does what he does, top-tier communication and all that. So as much as I would want to put London through, I personally think that Dallas is going to end up taking this event. So I have Dallas winning this. I do think it'll be close. I think I would like to say that I think the SNDs will probably go the way of London. But again, Dallas is one of those best SND teams that we have in the league. So this is just a tough matchup for London. I really feel that way. We'll see if they're able to match up with Dallas when it comes down to that final. But for me, 
I have Dallas taking that, winning their third event of the year, and this should put them in pretty good position as we're getting down towards playoffs here. So with that, guys, let me know down below in the comments. This is one of those videos. Who do you guys think? What's your predictions? Do you think London's going to win it? Do you think Florida will upset or beat Dallas and win their third event in a row? Anything you guys have, put it down below. I'm super excited to see what your predictions are. If this is your first time checking out one of my videos, I put out brand new videos like this every single day, breaking down and analyzing the Call of Duty League. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. Leave a like before you head on the way. Please, guys, enjoy Championship Sunday. We will see you in tomorrow's upload.